Now, News Extra, it is brought to you by Intralinks in Deering. And with our program, here again, Kevin Mooney. Thank you, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. We're going to talk about probably one of the most uh, cherished events from around here in the fall, and that's Oktoberfest Revive that got started, can't believe it, four years ago over at the Elks Club, and now it's been moved over to the fairgrounds simply because it's so big, right? That's right. Uh, Jody Ziegler and uh, Lana Hubbard are here to tell us all about it. So, Jody, uh, when's it coming up? Next month, right? Yes, that's right. October 13th. It will be at the Mitchell Event Center, and uh, it is to keep the German tradition alive. So we're serving German traditional food, and Bob Schmier and the River Boys Polka Band will be playing. And we've had just great success in the past. Uh, we have about 600 tickets to sell, and I think a good portion have been sold already. So um, it's a great time. Uh, we'll start out with, with uh, cabbage burgers, noodle soup and butter balls, and dinakuga. And then later in the evening, we bring out garlic sausage, rye bread, cheese, and uh, sweet dill pickles. And this is all homemade food by Trisha Mackey and Diana Schmall. And they start out from the very scratch, right? That is right. Trisha even grows the blackberries, and the dill pickles uh, are homemade from her cucumbers that she grows. So, yeah, it's a great event. Uh, it's $15, and uh, it's um, just a fun thing for the whole family. So we hope everybody comes out and uh, takes part and enjoys it. All right. Uh, this whole idea is just to uh, kind of keep the tradition of the German-Russian tradition in this community, right? That's right. That's kinda right. Kind of keep that uh, alive. And your pro- some of your proceeds go uh, to uh, what, Legacy of the Plains? Legacy of the Plains, yes. Okay. Uh, I, I understood all that food except for the one I can't pronounce. So tell me what's in Duna. Dina Kuchen. Okay. Okay, well, that is, it's a, it's a bread with uh, a fruit, and, and it could be blackberries, it may be cherries. Uh, there's also a burnt sugar topping, and then it has rival on top, and it's baked. It's delicious. You'll love it. All right, so you can tell my Italian-Irish heritage is, <laughs> is showing up there because I didn't know what it was. So, All right, Lana, so... Uh, you're, you guys have tickets, right, over there at the fairgrounds? We do. We do. Um, I've had to go gather some up because we've been going <laughs> through them pretty fast. So, But I know we have them at J.G. Elliott. Uh, Dean Camerzell has some there. Yeah. Um, we have them at First National and First State Bank. Or no, just... Not First National, but First State, First State and Platte State Valley. And Platte Valley, excuse me. And um, also... Committee members, right? The Yeah. Uh, several committee members have them. Or you can just call the fairgrounds, and I can kind of get you in the direction you know you need to go if you don't want to come up to Mitchell and grab some at 623-1828. Okay. You can do it through a credit card. Just you call can. You. Yep, absolutely. And we can get them mailed out as long as, you know, you start getting them now so we can get them to you. That's the thing. You guys said 600, mm-hmm. but it fills up. Pretty. And when those 600 are gone, that's it, right? Absolutely. And like I said, I've been going through them pretty fast. You know, we kind of divide them up between the committee members. And I just, I at the fairgrounds, I've been going through them pretty fast. And a lot of Colorado people, um, you know, which is great. Because they, yeah. have, they have groups over, you know, on the northern side of Colorado right. that, you know, they're very active groups. Yeah. And um, so a lot of them come over. So we do get a lot of out-of-town people for it. Yeah, well, that's great. All right, we'll uh, take a break, talk more right after this. Intralinks has been supporting computer systems in our area for almost 20 years. Intralinks can review your systems and your expenses to help your bottom line. Intralinks also installs low-voltage wiring, IP-based camera systems, and IP-based phone systems. With Intralinks on your side, technology isn't an obstacle. It's an opportunity for your business. Call Intralinks today to schedule your free one-hour consultation. 632-6590. That's 632-6590. Back on News Extra, we're talking about Oktoberfest Revived. 2018 it's fourth annual event here if you remember started over at the elks club the uh, first time that uh, they did it they found uh, wow this is 
just not quite big enough for this, so they took it over to the fairgrounds. Now they can sell 600 tickets, and believe me, if you haven't got them yet, better make it part of your priority for the day because you need to get them. The uh, drop-dead date to buy tickets is what there, uh, Lana, October 3rd? October 3rd, yep. Okay. And also, just to mention, if you are purchasing for children, they will need their own ticket unless they're going to eat off your plate. And, you know, a lot of this is due to the servings, you know, that the, the ladies, Trisha and Diana, have been cooking. They, they cook for a certain amount, and, and so we don't, we don't want to run short. Yeah. All right, Lana Hubbard and Jody Ziegler here. Let's see. What else we need to do? $15 per person is what it is. Uh, let's go over once again uh, uh, the places where you can get tickets. Okay, you can get your tickets from uh, committee members or call Lana at the Scottsbluff County Fair, First State Bank, or Platte Valley Bank. All right, 5 to 8 p.m., October 13th, you eat, and then uh, you're dancing to polka the rest of the night, right? That's right, and yeah. it's a great time. They'll start playing about 7 or 7.30 and play till probably midnight, mm -hmm. right, Lana? Yeah. And then it's always kind of fun. Then at the end of, of the dinners, about 9 o'clock, we'll auction off any extra food. So a lot of people get to go home with a whole dinner cougar, and they're thrilled. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Okay, that's cool. That's usually about the only thing extra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe some sausage. Yeah. It seems like we did some rye bread and sausage last year, yeah. too. Yeah. Okay. Bob Schmier and the uh, River Boys Polka Band is going to be there. Everybody knows them. They're pretty much a mm -hmm. staple staple of the yeah. whole whole region, yeah. really. Yeah. Yes. Uh, they play in not only in our area, but uh, other states and yes, all do. over the place. Mm -hmm. So they're very good. So, uh, neat. again, get your tickets as soon as you can. Priority number one this morning or today or tomorrow. If you're thinking about going to this, because tickets, even though they have 600 of them, they're selling fast for Oktoberfest Revive 2018. You cover all bases? I think so. $15. Get your ticket as soon as possible. All right. We thank Jody Ziegler and Lana Hubbard for coming in today, telling us all about it.